In the year 2040, human beings look for increasingly strange solutions in hopes of finding connection and community. Distrusting previous institutions that supposedly brought people together in common, lonely people look to technology and science for answers. One such new technology is a psychically powerful lab synthesized fungi. You, a medical student at the local university, have been brought in to study its application to a human host. Ah, you must be the new student Dr. Morrison was speaking of. I hear you're quite bright. Have you ever studied a psychical transpolitutian flowering before? I see. Well, you're in for quite a treat. I have assisted with many flowerings before. However, this is my first time in the hot seat. This facility is equipped with a neutron coronal scanner. You will be able to view my transformation and its various effects on my bodily systems. Just navigate the icon over my body and scan for info points to click on. My brain's broca area has been linked to a digital readout. So even when I am at the point where I am beyond human speech, I will be able to communicate. Well, please begin your examination. Here is the icon. Here is his body. So far, so normal. Chest. Arms. Appendages. What is this? There is a face. Aha, you discovered the injection site. Two weeks ago, Dr. Morrison took a bone deep needle to my right shin. It hurt like hell. However, what he injected was worth its weight in gold. It was a skin graft of a successful PTB flowering. What's that? It kind of looks like a face? Well, the PTB organism is a psychical organism. Its physical manifestation draws from a shared pool of all its denizens, traumas, fears, dreams. I believe that's my mother's face on my shin. Oh, how I miss her. But enough about me. Please continue the examination. What else is there to scan? Hmm. What about your brain, friend? Aha! You've discovered the primordial inhibitor. This is a device implanted in my brain stem, which helps to undo certain evolutionary safeguards against operations like this. It limits bodily and mental reactivity to meta-existential stimuli. In not too many words, the flowering is an evolutionary aberration one which requires some retooling of our formation of mental concepts. For instance, one who has flowered does not experience the human idea of time. But if I tried and apprehended this with my regular old monkey mind, I would go quite insane. But anyway, please go on, discover, explore. What about this? Yeah. Aha! You've discovered my rotting bones. Yes, the rot has set in, certainly. It itches like the devil. But soft bones are required for a PTB to do its work. The human body was never intended to experience a flowering. In the process, one is contorted psychically and physically. 
soft rotting bones are pliable enough to assume a flowering shape. Again though, very painful stuff. When I begin to scream, I expect you to keep your cool though. This should all be academic to you. Are you getting any class credit for this, by the way? I see. Well, please continue. Aha! According to the concentration of a PTB in my blood, I will begin the flowering process very soon. Quick, give me your wallet to bite down on. I know this trick. You just want my money, don't you? Okay, 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 take it. Wow, that hurt. Dude, are you fine? Sorry, I seem to have bit down too hard and broken a couple teeth. Give me a moment to spit them out. Now then, as you can see by my face, I am midway through the flowering process. Hurrah! I can feel the inkling of a pan-psychic connection. And my body has experienced amazing and terrible growth. See for yourself. I guess I will. Well, it certainly looks plantish. What is this? Aha! You've discovered my bone growths. As I was saying about the dramatic changes a PTB flowering incurs. Well, now, at a bone deep level, my skeletal system is basically sponge cake. But look closer. My bone fragments have begun to reassemble into a complicated, if fragile, lattice work of wafer thin psychic receptors. Some of the bones are poking out of my skin? I knew that. I felt it. Haha. <laughs> Please go on. Whoa, what the heck happened to your nervous system, man? You look like a light bulb. Are you cool with that? I hope you are. Aha! You've discovered my new minds. To the extent that the brain is a mind, that is. We'll leave that to the philosophers. As my own mind-brain disintegrates into the group mind, what remains of my body becomes a small distribution of other flowering mind brains. As we speak, I am flooded with powerful memories that are not my own. I feel, well, it's hard to even use the word I anymore. Even to distinguish ourselves from our timeless unity seems wrong. I feel infinite pleasure as well as infinite pain. Is this what death is? Don't be nervous, man. Let's check out your topicals. The heck is this? And the heck is that? Okay. Aha! You've discovered that my hands have fallen off. Well, I suppose I'll never play the violin again. Haha. <laughs> Joking aside, this is pretty much to be expected. Part of the primordial inhibitor is to disassociate brain and hand connectedness. As a result of this, the hands fall off, as they are merely vestigial baggage, standing in the way of a superior evolution. I'm sorry, just briefly had a bit of an ego death there for a moment. I can feel my thoughts intertwine in the rhizomatic group mind. Please continue. Aha, I see we are at the final stages. I complete the flowering. Infinite pleasure, pain, death. I am so happy. I am so happy. I am so happy. I am so A game by James. Beautiful. Ugly. You know what to do. Until next time.
Ciao.